I remember how dark it was late one night when a strange man came to our home desiring to hire a boy to go and live with him for a year. My family had immigrated to Utah from England a short time earlier, and I was still a lad yet to be 14. But after agreeing on a wage <laughs> of a two-year-old heifer and board and clothes, I was obliged to kiss my family goodbye and go with him. It was this dark night that I learned of how the wonderful light of God and his works and purposes cannot be frustrated by the dark designs of the devil and wicked men. And I shall go to bed. This is where you will sleep. We'll start at sunup. Good night. Is your name? William. P Pilkington. I'll call you Willie. You're an immigrant? Uh, yes, sir, from England. Are you a Mormon? Yes, sir, and my family as well. Have you ever read the Book of Mormon? Uh, yes, sir. Well, if you have ever read the Book of Mormon, tell me. What is the first reading in the preface of the book that we find? The first reading is the, uh, the testimony of the uh, three men testifying before the world that it is true. Can you tell me those three men's names? Oliver Cowdery, David Whitmere, and Martin. Martin Harris, it was. My young friend. I am Martin Harris one of the three witnesses to the authenticity of the Book of Mormon. I was the first to render my services as a scribe to Joseph in the work of translating the book. And it was I who... And it was I who was the cause of the circumstance of the 116 pages being lost and never found. The lost manuscript. Indeed. The lost manuscript. <laughs> She's 
threatened to put me out of the house. I've already asked the Lord twice. And the answer is... I know the answer. But Noah's not going to satisfy my wife and family's doubts about this work. I've got to convince them that I am not wasting my time and means if I'm to continue. I will ask once more. Both he and the Lord have been grown weary of my pleas. I was allowed to take the manuscript at Joseph's and my own peril. You understand, I gave my solemn oath that I would show them to none other than my wife and four family members as were designated by God. Indeed, I gave my solemn oath.